Hi guys, uh, today's video is going to be pretty simple, just a nice easy slide back into YouTube. Uh, today I am going to decorate my house for Halloween and uh, we're going to have a little Halloween hangout. And you're going to see me get frustrated trying to untangle webbing and see how I put my visionary genius for my Halloween decorations into effect. Or you're going to see me just fail miserably, scrap the plan, and uh, do something else that works. <laughs> but um, yes, I am back to YouTube. I always seem to come back around Halloween. Um, it, the, ho the holiday calls to me. So let's get out there and I will amuse or inspire or just generally entertain you. Alright, bye. Hi everybody, so I'm outside uh, a little later in the day but while it's still daylight out because you do not want to do this when it's hot out. So let me show you all of the stuff I have. My first bit of advice is to really examine the space that you have that you're going to decorate and then lay out all the stuff that you have to decorate. So let's just get a little sneak peek of all of that. <laughs> Okay, so this is the space that I am decorating. Um, I'm pretty much going from this end of the porch, and since I have a giant inflatable, it'll go to right just past that tree. So I have these big, beautiful panes and uh, little detailing that I can work on. And as you can see, I have some of the stuff already up there. There's some pumpkins and a bloody arm, a tombstone. But then I have all of my stuff down here laid out and ready to go. There's you know, skeleton casually hanging out, these collapsible coffins that I gotta work with, there's webbing, there's spiders, there's trail things, I even have lights. And then of course my big inflatable dragon, that's gonna be fun later. So now I'm basically just kind of figuring out where I want everything to go. So uh, next thing is me taking all these tags off and whatnot, and I will probably start on the webbing. And I'll let you see me be frustrated with that. Here we go. All right, and here we have pretty much all the webbing picked up. Travis, say hello to the people. Travis has come out to help me. He also put up these uh, pumpkins for me. Uh, I am not going to be able to stop and take clips for every little part we're doing, but basically I'm putting up my skeletons and some of my bigger props. And uh, I'll try to check in before that, but you all might be seeing the end result. All right, check in in a second. And we are making progress. I now have my lovely nephew helping me. Where's, my darling where's, sister. Where's, and my mom is hanging out on the porch as one of the dead people. Yes. Look. Look. Bubbles. Hello. Up Goodbye. We're going back to work. Alright, so the day is done. It is starting to get dark out and uh, it looks really good. I have to shout out to Tara and Travis. My mom, even my little nephew, for helping me put stuff together. Because after I did the webbing, I was beat. But, uh, yeah. I'm back on YouTube. As usual in October, I'm going to try and do a video every week. And then after that, we'll see. Because I don't want to get burned out again. But, thank you guys. Happy Halloween to all of you. And if you want advice on decorating for your Halloween experience, um, don't ask me. I don't know how this came together. This is miracle. All right, I'm going to end this with a uh, tour of the the experience over here. <laughs> All right, goodbye, my darlings. All right, so we start with my Grim Reaper, my Skeleton Victoria, and I guess this one ghost over here. Um, honestly, we should start with the impressive webbing. I'll just tell you, the trick is to find a spot to tie it down, stretch it out a bit, and then just keep tying it 
in random places. That is the only way that webbing works. I also have my spider web lights put up by my darling sister Tara. And it appears that my skeleton Victoria stole the witch's broom for her costume. Also have my little pumpkin pails up here. Moving on, you can kind of see the wreath on the door. The full size uh, coffin. I got it for uh, 15 bucks at Kroger. Just saying. Then I have my little witch, which I was going to put in the coffin, decided not to, and somebody managed to zip tie her cauldron. You can't really tell because it's black on black, but her cauldron is zip tied to the, the porch. Then we have some more pumpkins, and my brother lovingly decorated this tree with spider web and then actually put some spiders in it, which I might have to like take pictures just so you can see, but... We end with my dragon, uh, unnamed as of yet, and some tombstones and some body parts poken out. Uh, the dragon's pretty impressive, I'm not gonna lie. Somebody needs to help me come up with a name for it, though. So, this is our little, uh, Halloween experience. Not a lot, but we made it work. And end tour. Cribs style. I don't know. Goodbye. <laughs>